I got that on camera. <laughs> oh, you're swimming? Yeah, I am here. Wait. Good morning, everybody. In today's video, I want to talk about how it is to leave like your home country to a foreign country to study there. But first, we gotta go for our run. And I wanted to give you guys a broader perspective, so I'm going to ask people. Megan, I'm making a video. <laughs> I'm making a video about how it feels like to be not at home anymore. Okay. I want to give you one of your favorite things about it and one of your like the things that you hate most about it. Uh, things I hate the most is definitely having my mum do my washing. Because that makes my life easier. But my favorite thing is just being much more independent. Awesome. Living with friends is different to family. It's fun, eh? Yeah. yeah. such a beautiful day today. It's like super busy but the sun is gorgeous. <laughs> Made it once again. I'm showered, I'm fed, I'm ready to go. This is a new kind of format. Um, let me know if you like it or not. Let me know if you have other questions. I try to take the questions that I get in the comments and then make videos about them. For me personally, the idea of leaving home was always like crystal clear. It was more because I have this like vision. In, in my, I think in my uni application, I call it like inner calling. It's like you can't point at it but you just know you need to. Because in a nutshell, what leaving home meant for me was detaching from the image that I had created at home. And going to a new place in a new culture means you get to detach from all of that and leave that behind, the stuff that, um, that people associated you with and for and you can start and create a new identity. Like it was one of the first videos that I made here. I talked about identity. I'll link it like right here. Check it out and find the part where I talk about identity. Because in a nutshell... Salut. Watch out for the dangerous man. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Hi Philip, sorry. Hey, how are you doing? Good. You? Who are you fighting? No, <laughs> I'm fighting cubes. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I've used one of those things once in my life, but I'm going to try it later today. Philip, I'm gonna make you do boxing. Show me doing it. Do boxing? Show me doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd love to, oh, I'd love to do boxing. Yeah, sorry, sorry. How are you doing, bro? Okay, Have you had a good sleep? I know we slept like four hours. Oh fuck. I had that. Tonight we're gonna be home at 11. Okay, so that, that's the goal? Yeah. Omar, I have a quick question. Go ahead, Mr. Klein. I got a comment yesterday on a video uh -huh. asking how, like, how it feels or like how does it feel to leave home mm -hmm. to go to another country. When you have a Philip Klein where you're going, it doesn't matter. You find a new <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's fake, it's kind of weird, guys. <laughs> What is like one thing that you love about leaving home and one thing that you don't like about it? Well, I think it's simple. It's going to be the same for everyone. Like you have absolute freedom. Like when you're here, you can do whatever you want. You know, it's a double-sided, what is it? What's the thing? Sport. Yeah, double-sided is always like sometimes you're just not going to do the right thing because no one's pressuring you. Like skip a class or two. But 
what's bad about it, like the most things, like you just miss family, you just miss home. Like you're here, even if your family's here with you, it doesn't feel like home. Oh, yeah, the, it's missing the je ne sais quoi. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like the vibe, just like, yeah, the, yeah, the, vibe, like the feeling of home, kind of. Yeah. That's interesting because, like, for me, I don't, I don't know, like, I, I don't, I'm looking forward to see my family on Christmas, mm -hmm. but, like, I don't have that, like, longing of, like, it's mm -hmm. crazy. I think and it's not that I don't like my family, mm -hmm. it's just I don't have the long, you know what I mean? I think me too, I don't have it right now, but like, it's not like it comes eventually. It's like, one day you're gonna wake up, mm. you're gonna be like, oh. okay, okay. But then okay. the next day you're gonna feel fine. Oh, like, guys, can you give me something some happens, like one day, like, oh, I wish I was home right now. I see. It's gonna last a day, two maximum, and then, and then you're good. We go back to normal. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Uh, <laughs> how much are you paying me for? Mm? for you're not a psycho, but you've got a special mind. Keep creating and thinking deeply. Oh, wow, that's so cute. Yeah. Miss Harwood plus cinnamon. We're going, we're going getting food. Surrounded by Moroccans these days. They got their whole crew community here. It's crazy. They went all to the same high school too, which is so funny. It's your boy Adam Hussaini. Now we're going with like my boy Ali, and my boy Omar, and my boy Ali, my boy Fi, you Fi, Fi Fi. Now this place is called Expectation. And Meng and the others should be here already. We just gotta find them. Oh, I think they're there. We can sit behind them. Sorry. I will ask her to pay for me and then. I believe that the feeling of home, like that the feeling of home is strongly connected to values. You feel home when you're surrounded by people with certain values. That's at least like what I believe. <laughs> and um, and the, the struggle and, and so for me, when choosing a place to study, a place to go and a country to go, I, I try to find a place that would match my values even more than the place than Aachen, than where I am from. And that definitely helps me a lot in terms of feeling home here because the values of the city here are just so aligned with the ones that, I'm, that I associate myself with. It's the city you choose, the country you choose, um, the climate you choose, like all of these aspects should be should be something to consider. Um, and all of this will make make it easier for you to feel home in a place. I found one of my fellow floor mates. Do you wanna quickly introduce yourself? Oh are you already going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, so I'm uh, Kieran. You know, moving just so far from home was definitely like a struggle just because it's like, it's just so unfamiliar. I've never lived in a city before. That was definitely new. Uh, I've also never been in a like French first place, but I think that like was a struggle. Like, so it's like, just do your research, know the language, definitely. And also just like, make the effort to meet people because as soon as you go there's going to be people in your situation i think there's like clubs and every like but those are like kind of a way to kind of combine that right yeah. like where you like make the effort reach out but you also find other people and like they're like a great way like do research about like which clubs may be interesting yeah. it's thing. always good to um just like make the effort early because that's when people are most in your situation if i had waited until about now like people may already know each other so. that's good thank you so much yeah you know like what what advice would you give yourself if you were to come like come to canada now 
honestly I was scared at first like people like uh, I don't know things I used to do they suddenly disappeared and I thought I'd I'd feel like empty because of that but I didn't I found many other things that ended up being way better I tried to walk as much as possible to get lost I had no internet so I just <laughs> went all over the metro and uh, all over the SDM in general buses and got lost and uh, I was really really happy because many people could have just like gone nuts with it but I tried to enjoy it so enjoy getting lost enjoy walking down the street enjoy hearing French English Spanish arriving all kinds of languages because it's your new place and uh, you'll love it awesome thank you so much for sharing this man really really appreciate it really thank appreciate you it. man I hope it works. Oh, I'm sure. It's going to help a lot of people.